What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Alright, uh, gaya ng promise ko sa inyo kahapon guys, sabi ko mag-react na tayo dun sa reaction ng SB19 sa What na music video nila. Uh, kaya lang, na-realize ko nga na hindi ko pa pala nare-react yung, yung How I Produced the Number One Song in the Country ni ito, yung producer ng gumawa ng beat nila, si Servida Music. So, buti na lang may mga nag-comment sa inyo na mag-react muna tayo dito. Totally talaga na, nakalimutan ko to. So, ganito gagawin natin. After nito, isusunod ko na kaagad yung uh, reaction ng SB19 dun sa music video nila. Okay? But before that, hindi pwedeng mawala ang ating shower out. Okay? Start tayo kay One is Real. Asheline Shell. Maraming repeater dito. Lenny Claire Sabordo. Noraida Bayato. Uh, Jadeni Susan <laughs> Jadeni Susan 21 Drama Guru Lu uh, Princess Adona Shimindi uh, Shimindi uh, Mads Mylene Grace T, T Esteline uh, Jack Henny Furl Tatsky Videos Vids Yan meron din tayong kay Bea Morin de la Cruz Dalawang de la Cruz dito Florida uh, Florida Rionda Joan Solon Lea Perez Ermi and Kito Cecil Alunan Yan Shabby Lee Erlin uh, Mariel Nora Wal well, Mariel Maria Elnora De La Cruz So this is the second De La Cruz Hong Kong 18 Yan Geraldine Palaris Mary Glosello Erlinda Fulvera Alet Umali And Noreen Maybe Jalito Grabe no, ang dami nating ano, shower out ngayon. So yeah, excited ako dito actually. Uh, napanood ko yung very little lang, sa umpisa lang. Pero hindi ko siya tinapos. So let's go. Here we go. 500k views in 3 hours? That's me! That's my name! Whoa. I made this! What's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Servita. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I produce oh, these singles sabi, for the number one boy band in the country. No cash. Which country? Say. Philippines. Which is really cool sa because my ethnicity is Filipino. I was born in Canada, but both my parents are Filipino. The group is called SB19. They're a P-pop group. That stands for Pinoy Pop. And the single I help produce is called What? So I'm gonna give you guys a really detailed breakdown on the song. And I'm also gonna give you guys a behind the scenes on how we worked on it. Hey. Okay, let's take a look. Now, this was easily one of the most challenging projects I've ever had to work on for a lot of reasons. We'll get into that later. But let's start at the beginning. Like, how did I get the opportunity? There is a member on the group called Pablo. This is Pablo's hey. face right here. He does a bit of production himself, so I guess he stumbled across a couple of my YouTube videos. And then he reached out to me. He was like, what's up? I said, what's up? He said, you're trying to make something? I said, mm. <laughs> Maybe. Perhaps. For the workflow, it was a lot of back and forth DMing. And then on occasion, I'd get on a Zoom call with him and his brother Josh. Here's what Pablo sent me at the very beginning. We just started with the demo file. So all we have here is the top line and the guitar under it. Hey. Not to be completely honest, I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> I'm Filipino. I thought I knew Tagalog. But looking back, apparently I only know Tagalog that's used in a household setting. <laughs> so if somebody can translate this, I'd really appreciate it. There's actually a switch up in the song. So it goes from 112 BPM to 112. I never had to work on a song with the tempo change before. So this was, this was tough for me. We're going to just try to flesh this out because I listened to this once. And I'm already really, uh, yes, really stuck. Na, like, how do we get back Pero there? That's a... What? And then the chorus, which is 96. Oh, I don't know how wow, many Wow, it's yeah. Oh, commercial. Biglaan yung commercial. Woo. Okay, natin. Sige, bigyan natin kay sir. Galing na. 
this is the more hip hop -y part. I don't know if this is supposed to be the rockish part. So I sent him that first idea and it was pretty much wrong. <laughs> so I had the hip hop and the rock part switched around. He said it should be similar to Google Rock. So I said, oh, okay. So once I realized it was switched the wrong way, then I made this one more rock inspired. Well, now we have the electric guitars. And then I'm also trying to like keep it a little bit modern, so I use more hip hop sounding drums. Uh, you know? Woo! We ended up using a lot of this for the end of the song, but for the main chorus, this wasn't it. First chorus, pause, second ah, chorus, okay. pause, and then sila. after the bridge chorus, pause, and then another chorus with continuous beat, like the ha happy one. It's funny because you probably heard me and a bunch of other producers say, simplicity is key, keep it yep. simple. Don't want to do too much. But for them, it's the complete opposite. They want everything. They ask for a lot more complexity. And stop natin. Kasi iba rin yung, ano eh, yung gusto mangyari kasi ni Paolo dito eh. Parang alam niyo yung nangyayari sa K-pop. Maraming ano, yung kada, like, sa group kasi sila, lima sila. So, ang nangyayari, parang gusto niya mangyari dito is kada part nila is iba yung style nung genre nung music nila. Pero overall, like, ano pa rin siya, nasa rock, hip-hop, alam niyo yung genre, genre na yun. Kaya yung song, kung napapansin nyo, may biglang nag-change ng, ng mood. So, piling ko mahihirapan siya dito. Pero, so far, ang galing nito eh, kasi napapanood ko to sa mga, ano eh, ito si Sir, sa mga ads na lumalabas minsan sa SB19. So, check natin. Hey. Refreshing. Pablo told me usually in K-pop and group songs, whenever there's a change in member, then there's See? also a change in sound. So for this group, there's like five members, exactly. so we're really changing it up every eight bars or so. There's a part later on in the song where they do a dance break, and they told me, you know, you can go crazy because we actually need something to dance to. I'm giving you the yep. perks, I'm giving you the fills, I'm giving you the slides just so that they can do a little of this, do a little of this. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of these demos. I also had a lot of trouble figuring out the verses. Just because the tempo 112 is in this weird spot where it can sound good either half-timed or double-timed, it can be slow like this. Or we can make that twice as fast with something like this. Let me show you some of these attempts. Oh, this attempt was weird. Listen to this one. There was around 10 arrangements, and I think at around what? arrangement 5, is when we had a good idea of what the song's gonna be. And then after that, it was just fine-tuning, fine-tuning, fine-tuning. For the verse, Papa we ended up going with this really spaced-out brass yeah, melody. We layer that with this high lead thing. For this one, the drums are really simple because we wanted to drop it halfway in. Same pattern as this one, the first one, but this one is um like cut cut, but this one is continuous. So. Gotcha. And then during the second half of the verse, we have the brass melody that does a lot more. Like capital siren. The drums are doing a lot more as well. Nice! For the second verse, it's really similar to the first verse, except we got rid of the brass, and instead we just replace it with every single percussion note to the end. Guys, biruin nyo yung mga, ano, mga choreographers na, na sobrang tatalas ng tenga. Kasi may tinatawag kami mga choreographers na minsan na yung, yung by the beat, yung walang sinasayang na beat. Imagine ko naririnig nilang lahat tong beat na yan, no? yung pum, cha-cha-cha, yung walang mga, like for example, uh, sila Brian Puspo, sila uh, Ian, sila Sean Evaristo, yan mga yan, mga nag, nag, ano, nag pasimula ng urban dance camp. Grabe oh, imagine this guys. Ako lang, nahihilo na ako dito, pero so far, ang sarap sa pakinggan as a dancers and choreographers. Choreographers, choreographer. 
parang okay na sa akin to pero alam niyo na Pablo is the the main ano dito utak so tuloy tayo dito dami kung naririnig niyo ang daming weird filtered percussion loops more percussion loops glass thingies Woo! snare stuff whatever this is hi hats more hi hats mm. some really glitchy toms more percussion more fills and then during the second half it's like the first verse here's an example of the yeah. workflow so i just send him a dropbox link with the song okay, and then he just sends me back a list of notes make it sound grimy maybe try a new melody maybe put in a new instrument wow grabe si pablo we decided for the chorus that it should be really big and kind of cinematic. So I added these massive, massive toms to just kind of drive the rhythm. Uy, nasa loko yung ano. Uy, it's getting there. Everything is kind of just following that. Oh! Ito yung sinasabi ko yung drums ng prom na malaki. Some chance. For the intro, they wanted the main melody of the hook, but that turned into this big marching band brass idea. I think this was the first attempt. But then he said it sounded a bit too happy, it should be a lot darker. So what Ooh. I did instead was I kind of rewrote the melody so mm. that it sounded a bit darker. Lower. The original melody is like this. And then what I did was... Oh. And then we just put that on a bunch of horns. Woo! Kinikalabutan! <laughs> Galing! Then there's a high horn that comes in. Woo! And then just some marching band style drums to go with it. Man, one of the reasons this was such a difficult project was because I was being stupid. As you saw before, we went through a bunch of arrangements and different demos. And since I'm so lazy, instead of deleting oh, all these instruments, see. I just kept adding them onto the project. And then it was just this big no. file where there's too many plugins and there's too many sounds and every single track in my mixer chain is used up. It was just a lot of me wasting time waiting for stuff to load and then it ended up crashing and I'd lose entire hours just oh trying my. to render stuff out. It was a lot of this. A little blue circle and just praying this thing doesn't crash. Mm. So that's why kapag gumagawa ko, it, it's okay, either a video or... or Guys, don't be Some like to organized. I make sure she needs to come on the steps. Let's take a look at this one. So, I did ako ng mga hindi kailangan. Ah, this is the dance break part. Woo! The drum groove was pretty much there. It was mainly just finding what's going to be on the top melody. What is this? Galing oh, pala niya. This one. I like this one. Pili ko sino sulat niya. Sino sulat niya kaya? Kasi sa dami niyan nakakahilo. This one is hard! Okay, enjoy then they wanted the dance break to be twice as long and they told me during the second half just kind of go crazy on the drum arrangement. I ended up doing this thing where like the first half is trap and then the second half is more of like a reggaeton deal. Mm, reggaeton. Yep. And then there's a bunch of weird like fails on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like this melody was cool, but it didn't sound like anything from the rest of the song. Yep. So we Parang decided that it should kind of sound similar to the intro I made. Yeah. No yeah. No After that, we have so. like these high, high horns in the no copyright song. Through the dance. Mm, 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 oh. Back and forth. Dropbox link. Dropbox link. Little changes. Little changes. Until we got to like the final product. Let's check the info really quickly. 91 hours and 45 minutes. Are you insane? <laughs> it's like... How many days? 
24, 48, 72, 9. That's almost four entire days. They got it sent for mixing, and then they gave it back to me to do a bit of the final mix, and then it got sent out oh for mastering. Oh my gosh. And that was everything from my end. And here we are, the premiere day. I haven't seen this yet. 500k views in three hours. Hey. That's me. That's my name. Let's go. I made this. No way. Man, I don't even... It's kind of hard to believe right now. Yes, sir. It's been three hours. Look at all these reactions. Wow. I gotta watch all of these. This is gonna take up my whole day. <laughs> oh my god, how come I didn't... Their fan base is insane. What's this before? Oh my, oh my guys, look at you. How come you guys don't do this for my video? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. I don't know what to say. It hasn't really sunk in yet. This is like the biggest project I've ever been a part of. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't feel real. Uh... I have to give a big thank you to Wait. Pablo for giving me the opportunity. Shout out to everybody who worked on it. If you want to see the full video, that's going to be in the description. Just do a little favor for me and blow it up. If you're wondering if we're going to work again, the only thing I can say is maybe. I'm gonna watch more reactions now. <laughs> if you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a I like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Just leave. Get out of here. Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. I always wanted to do this. Do a little of this. Cool tweet. Just a little smirk emoji. Just a little, hmm. Keep it real subtle. Like, I'm so damn cool. <laughs> Whatever. Just made this song. Produced it. <laughs> Go with it. <laughs> Grabe you know. Sa mga nag-react ba, napansin nila kung gaano kaganda yung music, yung beat ng ano, ng what sa kanang basinga. Yung iba kasi hindi ko pa masyadong napapansin. Da Minsan kagaya ng mga ballad song nila, hindi masyadong napapansin yung beat kasi naka-focus sila, sila sa lyrics eh. Grabe to. So ayun guys, diretso agad tayo sa what reaction ng SB19, okay? So let's go. So yung guys, nag-decide na ako na ihiwalay na lang yung music video reaction ng SB19 dun sa what nila. Kasi uh, sa copyright, sa issue niyan, para hindi tayo magkaroon ng delay sa pag-post. So, yeah, standby kayo ka agad right after nito. Kasi sabay ko siyang ipo-post, okay? So, para may panood, mapanood kayong dalawa. Dalawang video, okay? Puro ako, okay? Bye-bye! <laughs> God bless!